Hi everybody, this is Ann Emery with Excel for Evaluation, and in this demonstration I'm going to show you a technique that I use pretty regularly in my work, and that's creating automatic snapshots, like the one on the right, using nested if arrays and drop-down menus. So if you check out the snapshot on the right, um, it's kind of like a community level dashboard. We might need to make matching reports like this for every community or every school or every hospital or maybe every program that we're working with. And when I need to make multiple things like this and kind of crank them out pretty quickly, I never do any copying and pasting by hand because, well, number one, it's time consuming, but there's also a chance that I might make some mistakes when I'm copying and pasting. So I'm gonna show you just a very simple solution for making a lot of these kind of all at once once, just using those nested if arrays and drop down menus. Here's the data set that I'm pulling from. It's typical survey data. We've got about 75 questions, a few hundred people in the data set. Very, very standard layout for the data. And here's what the snapshot page looks like here. So everything in white is the print preview mode that I can either PDF or I can print out. And everything in gray has the behind the scenes magic and some of the other formulas that I need just to create this that does not get PDF'd and I'm the only one who can actually see this view. So if you look at the snapshot, we've just kind of got um, an area at the top where I might insert the name of the survey, the community, a very simple um, bar chart right here and a data table at the bottom with a, a little bit more detail some of the points possible, maybe the range of scores or the average scores in a section. I'm going to show you the drop down menus first so you can get a feel for how this works. Right now we're just looking at the snapshot for community one. But if I go to the drop down menu and I select community two, the whole entire snapshot automatically updates the chart and the table at the bottom. If I select community three, again, it automatically updates for me community four, and so on. And then what I do is I just PDF each one of these. So I just do save as, and save it on my desktop. Oops. Save it as a PDF. And there I've got my snapshot for me. Um, very, very quick, pretty automatic. Okay, so how did I make this? Let's look at some of the behind the scenes formulas. I'm just gonna show you this very, very generally and very broadly. And if this is interesting to you and you'd like to learn more, let me know. You can either comment on the YouTube video or comment on my blog, and I'll try to schedule some type of half-day workshop at a conference so that I can go more in depth and you can walk away really knowing how to do this yourself. So this is just a very, very light overview. Um, so this is kind of where all of my formulas are, is in this table uh, right here in the gray table. So I've got some tallies or counts, um, frequency counts, and mins and maxes and averages, and then I have the percentages right here of the same thing. So I've just done it in two steps to kind of minimize the risk that I might make a mathematical error. So to do mins, I'm using a nested if statement, so I'm just looking for the minimum value if all of these things right here are met. So basically what it's doing is it's taking my fuller data set that I just showed you a moment ago, and I'm just um, filtering it down uh, a few different ways. So I'm just saying only show me data um, for community members, you know, not other people um, with other demographic characteristics. Only show me data for certain questions, you know, from certain columns, and only show me the minimum. I don't want the average, I don't want the maximum value, I just want the min. Um, and it's pretty tricky to do these formulas, a min and an if together, but if you just go online and Google it, um, you can try it for your own data set, and it's very, very helpful. And these little uh, kind of parentheses things at the beginning and end just mean that this formula is an array, and if you'd like to learn more about arrays, again, just Google it, search for Excel arrays. It's basically just saying that I want to pull from an entire column of data, um, but that's a little bit more um, detail than I have time to explain today. We've got max if, we've got average if, and I needed to actually round these down just to one decimal place. And then I've put in the range, and over here I've got some more uh, numbers as well. So all of those numbers feed in over here, and they also uh, feed into the chart right here. So that's a quick overview. I hope you enjoyed learning about it. If you'd like to learn more, please let me know. Thank you so much.